Good morning, Mama Maniacs! Right now, I am going to be doing more filming, but as you can see, I kind of been like digging the Frida vibe today. A little bit of Frida will do ya. We're gonna be doing mail time later today, which I'm really excited about, and a bunch of other stuff. So, come along! You like your balls? <gasps> Are you having fun in the balls? Are you gonna get buried? All right, bye. All right, bye. Where'd Penny go? Where is Penny? Where is Penny? Where is that Penny? So the ball time never hurt you? Grayson's not feeling good, but Penny is definitely feeling good. What color is this ball? Green? You're tired now? Green? Alright, never mind on the colors. Oh my gosh, the floor is now covered in balls. Grayson, he's not feeling good, he's teething. But how great is it that I finally get to give my son a bath in the sink? Now that you've seen the kitchen complete, I will say that having a sink that fits me has been my favorite thing for bath time, for washing our hands. This sink has completely saved our lives. So tonight I was going to be doing a plethora of things, but things change when your son's sick. My all time favorite thing about this kitchen is this sink because I can reach the counter. Like I'm standing right now, I can reach the faucet, I can reach the nozzle, I can reach everything and that is totally the best thing about this kitchen. I've not been feeling well all day. You've had a rough day, huh? Can I have a kiss? He's getting his molars in, so we're on a different level of pain right now. As a kid, I always remember being bathed in the sink, and now it's just so rewarding that I'm able to bathe my own children in the sink. Is that weird? Is this hygienic? I think everybody does it, right? Or just me? To me, this is the easiest way. Instead of having to fill up an entire bathtub of water, why not just do your sink? Don't worry, clean it afterwards. Can I get in there, bubs? Can I give you a little back rub? Did you like that? Yes. Get that back rub on. Get that back rub on. <laughs> Ready to get out? Want up? Yeah? All right. No more naked baby. All right, story time. So your uncle, Uncle Born, and I used to have we each had our own dog. My dog was named Blanca, which was white, because it was like a white German Shepherd. And his dog was named Einstein. It's a cute little blue healer mix. They were both rescues. And Einstein was crazy hyper. He would jump on everything, chew on everything. And we trained Einstein to take our arm and tell us where he wanted to go. And if he needed to go outside, he would put his mouth on our arm and he would take us to the front door. And if he wanted a belly rub, he would take our arm and he would lay down. We thought, if we could teach him that, what else can we teach him? So Uncle Bourne and I, we would take him out on the street and we lived in a cul-de-sac. And Uncle Bourne would sit at one side of the cul-de-sac with a skateboard and we'd put a harness on Einstein and I would stand at the other side of the cul-de-sac and Bourne would sit on his skateboard and I would go, Einstein, 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 Einstein. And Einstein would run so fast to me, so, so fast to me. And Bourne would just be flying on his skateboard. He used him like his own little sled dog, but like no snow and way more fun. So he would just run and run and run and run and run and run to me. And then Bourne and I would take turns and I would get on the skateboard and it was always like a fun little activity that we used to do as kids. And I can't wait for you to do those kind of things where you kind of invent your own game with Penny. One day you're going to do that. It may not be for a while, but I know one day two of you are going to be besties. <coughs> I know you don't feel good. Twinkle, twinkle, little 
star How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are You okay, Bubby? I know, this too shall pass I love you you want another story? Maybe let's do a story with Dada. How's that sound? I was pregnant with your sister and your dad surprised me. And the next thing I know, we're at an airport hangar. And at this airport hangar, there was this helicopter. And I told Joe, also known as your dad, I'm not allowed to fly. And he said he checked with my OBGYN and it was totally okay that I was allowed to fly. I think I was like around nine months pregnant. I remember being very nervous because I didn't want anything to happen to your sister. So we get in the helicopter and it was one of the most incredible experiences. When we land, we landed in a city called Malibu and it was so incredibly romantic. Your dad can be really romantic sometimes. And then before I knew it, he was down on one knee and asking me to marry him. And he gave me this ring right here. That's the ring he gave me. And he said, will you marry me? And I said, yes. What do you think about that story? Y'all, I'm vlogging with my feet. <laughs> Grayson, should we turn the lights off and go sleep? Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. This is like a good workout. I can feel... Uh, my legs tight. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. All right, let's have a combo. So, doing a show and vlogging has been very difficult. I come home. <laughs> so I come home and I'm immediately swept up by these guys. I love that. I want to be swept up by these guys, but I'm still not used to this process. And it's only been about 10 vlogs, and I know this is only the beginning, but it's super hard to vlog, to have a full-time job, and to have two children. You know, super hard with a capital S. <laughs> At the end of the day, vlogging is like a super passion for me. And I'm able to share my life and share things that I wouldn't normally share on a show. And I wouldn't normally share just in a photo. And I feel like this is a way to kind of really get a deep insight of our lives, our personalities. And it's a totally different experience. Right, Grayson? He likes my nails. Look at how great those nails are. These are like the best booger pickers in the business. Moms. Tip one, get your nails done. My right, baby. You're such a handsome chap. You always gotta go for the camera. You can't handle the camera. Thank you so much, Mama Maniacs, for being a part of tonight's vlog. I look forward to being a part and sharing more with you tomorrow. And thank you for understanding when the children are not feeling too well. Like, turn the lights off. Turn the lights off. Good night, Mama Maniacs.